in this video we are going to look at the factors affecting angle of deviation now you already know that this angle represented by a delta that is the angle by which the ray of light deviates from its original path after it enters the prism is what is called the angle of deviation so we are going to look at the factors on which this angle of deviation depends basically there are four factors first one is the angle of incidence the second is the material of the prism material of the prism meaning the refractive index of the material of the prism third factor angle of the prism this angle is the angle of the prism so the angle of deviation also depends on the angle of the prism and the fourth factor is the color or wavelength of light now let us see how the angle of deviation depends on these four factors first we'll start with the second factor we'll deal with the first factor at the very last so the material of the prism or the refractive index of the material of the prism now we've already learned that greater the refractive index of a medium more will be the bending of light in it that is more refraction takes place in that particular medium therefore more is the refractive index of the material of the prism what happens is more will be the angle by which the ray of light deviates so therefore greater the refractive index of the material of the prism more will be the angle of deviation in it and vice versa of course now the third factor is the angle of the prism experimentally it has been seen that more is the angle of the prism experimentally it has been seen that more is the angle of the prism more will be the angle of deviation in it that is more the value of this angle of the prism more will be the deviation produced in it the fourth factor is the color or the wavelength of light now we've already learned that the refractive index of a medium is different for different colors of light and furthermore we've seen that the refractive index of a medium is greater for violet light and the refractive index of the same medium is lesser for red light that is refractive index for violet light is greater than refractive index for red light so therefore for a given prism violet light deviates the most and red light deviates the least that is the angle of deviation of violet light is greater than the angle of deviation for red light as you can see in this picture sunlight or white light is being incident on the prism which after entering the prism splits into seven different colors and very clearly we see that it is violet light which deviates the most and red light that deviates the least finally now let us give a look at how the angle of deviation depends on the angle of incidence to understand this we take the help of the graph here wherein we have the angle of incidence plotted along the x axis and the angle of deviation delta plotted along the y axis now experimentally what is seen is that as the angle of incidence increases the angle of deviation initially goes on decreasing until it reaches a minimum after which on further increasing the angle of incidence what happens is the angle of deviation then after goes on increasing this minimum value of the angle of deviation is represented by a delta with a subscript m delta m and it's called the angle of minimum deviation let us now consider values of the angle of deviation delta greater than the angle of minimum deviation delta m like for example we consider this value of delta and what we see is that for all values of angle of deviation delta greater than delta m there are two values of the angle of incidence one here and the other over here you can do this for all values of angle of deviation like i mentioned which are greater than delta m except at the value of angle of minimum deviation delta m in which case we see that there is only one value of the angle of incidence so what do we understand from here what we understand is that these two values of the angle of incidence for a given value of the angle of deviation are actually representing the angle of incidence and the angle of emergence for this value of the angle of deviation as you can see in this picture for a given value of the angle of deviation 
this is the angle of incidence and this is the angle of emergence. Now we know from the principle of reversibility that if we make the ray of light incident along this direction at this angle of incidence then the ray of light will be refracted in this direction and finally emerge out in this direction such that I becomes the angle of emergence and of course remember the value of angle of deviation will be the same that is for a given value of the angle of deviation if this is the angle of incidence this will be the angle of emergence or for that matter if this is the angle of incidence this will be the angle of emergence except for the value delta m that is the angle of minimum deviation in which case we see that there is only one value of the angle of incidence so what we understand from here is that if this angle delta is equal to delta m if this delta is equal to the angle of minimum deviation then the angle of incidence will be equal to the angle of emergence since we are only getting one value of angle of incidence this means that the angle of incidence and the angle of emergence will be the same in which case of course r1 will be equal to r2 moreover if a b c is an equilateral prism then for the angle of minimum deviation since i will be equal to e and r1 will be equal to r2 therefore the refracted ray inside the prism will be parallel to the base of the prism therefore do remember only for the angle of minimum deviation only if delta is equal to delta m then i will be equal to e or r1 will be equal to r2 and thereby remember the refracted ray inside the prism will be parallel to the base bc of the prism Therefore, for the angle of minimum deviation, this equation, which we've already discussed about in the previous video, becomes delta m is equal to 2i minus a. Since delta is delta m and i is equal to e, so therefore, this equation for the angle of minimum deviation becomes this. Mind you, this equation is strictly for the case of angle of minimum deviation, remember. And this is true for all other values of the angle of deviation.